Hey, praise the Lord, everyone. Hey, guys, it's Wednesday Bible study. We're starting we're starting a new series on Bible study. OK, so I'm leading off the first one and then it's going to go like it did last time with the elders um, are each taking. Something. All right. So we're going to be talking about the fruits of the spirit. All right. We're going to be talking about the fruits of the spirit for the next couple of weeks. Um, guys, I'm just keep everyone in prayer. We got some, uh, family members dealing with sick loved ones. Uh, you know, uh, some of them have experienced death in their families. So let's keep all of our families in prayer. Okay. Uh, as you guys know, I got like a star in my eye. Y'all can see it. Uh, I got to go to the doctor so they can look at it and, um, and do whatever they got to do. But we, we, we believe in a good report period on everybody and everything. All right. Can't wait. As of right now, we're looking to get back together in June. So let's keep keep this in prayer, guys. God is bringing us out of this thing. He's bringing us out every situation. All right. So let's keep praying for each other. Let's keep praying for the ministry. To all of you guys, thank you so much for your continued financial support, man. I, I'm I'm I tell you this all the time, but I'm serious about it. I'm just blown away. I really am. I'm just blown away how Breath of God Church is showing up and showing out. Guys, you guys is taking care of your church. And I'm just, as a pastor, I'm just like so honored because talking to a lot of my pastor friends and just to hear the stress in their life and things like that. And I'm praying for one of my friends I talk to every day, you know, and I really think to myself and I was like, God, I don't have that stress. I'm not stressing over how we're going to continue to support the ministry financially because of you guys, because of you guys. God owes you and God is going to bless you for what you have done in the middle of this. You did not run scared. You stood and said, I'm going to take care of God. My mom used to teach us all the time. And, you know, a lot of my grandma and all of them teach us what you make happen for God. He'll make happen for you. So you just remember that uh, I'm out here in the country, you know, in the country, you hear all kind of noise. So, you know, if you see me looking. Uh, just know uh, I'm looking to make sure but I got if they if something sneak up on me I got them but I'm just telling you right now I can't show you what on the table now but I got, <laughs> I got them all right so God has not given us the spirit of fear not on this end that end is gonna be fair gonna be fearful all right so let me <laughs> let me keep on all right so thank you guys so much all right so we're going to talk today what we're talking about today is we're going to be talking about fruit of spirits again but I'm dealing with peace I'm going to be talking about the peace, peace. Uh, that's one of the fruits of the spirit is peace. And in the middle of this pandemic, in the middle of what's going on all around us, you know, people are allowing the situation to take away their peace, to take away their peace, to take away, take away um, their peace in God, peace in the situation. Like I told you before, you can be, um, you could be concerned, but you don't, you, you don't be fearful. Don't be afraid because he isn't giving us a spirit of fear. We can be concerned, but we will not be fearful to the point that we can't sleep at night. We're scared to do this and that, and we are allowing the situation to attack our peace. All right. Go with me to uh, John 16. John 16. All right. John 16. We're going to start. We're going to read the 33rd verse. John 16. And we're going to read the 33rd verse. And it states, it states right here. These, this is Jesus. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. In this world you're going to have tribulation. In this world you're going to have a COVID-19. In this world you're going to have some situations. In this world you're going to have some up, some good days, you're going to have some bad days. But, but this is what he said. He said, but I'm going to give you the peace. Why? Because I've already overcome it. All right? So we already know that we have been bought with the blood of Jesus you know, the we, the blood of Jesus covers us. So that's our peace in the middle of this. Our peace is I'm a giver. I'm a sower. I take care of God. So in the middle of this, my peace is God's going to take care of me. Now, if you ain't doing that, yeah, you, yeah. But do if you're doing that, that's my peace. All right. So in the middle of this, if I'm taking care of God, if I have done what I'm supposed to do, God is going to give me the peace to get through this thing. I'm going to tell you right now, God, guys, I am not fearful right now i'm technically i'm really at peace i'm really at peace i'm ready to get back to preaching i'm really at peace 
the, my kids getting on my nerve. But I'm really, I'm really at peace because I know God is going to take care of us. I know God is going to bring us out of this situation. What does it mean to be at peace? What does it mean to be at peace? It's an inner sense of commit, uh, of contentment and quietness, regardless of life circumstances. It is a steadfast confidence in our ever faithful, immutable Heavenly Father. It is the presence of joy in the midst of unhappiness. It's our presence of joy. That's one of the fruits of the spirits, right? Joy. They're going to be talking about that later. It's our presence of joy in the midst of unhappiness. It's unhappiness going on all over the world right now. How can you be so happy? Because I have the peace of God on my life. I have the peace of God over my finances. I have the peace of God over my family. I have the peace of job, peace of God over my job. See, then that's one thing you got to understand. It's 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 my is 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 the Bible said, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always about in the word of God. In this season right now, you have to be praying. In this season right now, you have to be giving. In this season right now, you have to be reading your word. You have to be fasting. Not just sitting at home watching Netflix and YouTube and whatever else and catching up on the, the, the Netflix stuff. We all guilty. I had to catch myself too. But you know, but in the, we got to stay committed to God. You know, I like to watch them news. I had to stop watching it. Because it start messing with my peace. Because you turn the news is, you know, the COVID. Then it done went to the dogs. Now it done went to the kids. Now they they are messing with our peace, and we can't allow that. So we have to cut that off, and we have to plead the blood of Jesus even over the goldfish. <laughs> you know, I told you before, nothing shall come nigh you. You've been bought with the blood of Jesus. Just because you got God's perfect peace and you don't mean you won't feel the effects of this or you won't feel the effects of that. Don't mean that, you know, you won't get down some days and stuff. No, no, no. You're human. You're going to go through that. But we have to shake that off and we have to rebuke that spirit and we have to keep going. Don't let anything or anyone take away your peace in God. Don't let anything or anyone take away your peace. I got three points and I'm going to let you go. I got three points. I'm going to let you go. You know, in order to have peace, number one, we must focus on God. We got to keep our eyes on God, not on the situation, not on all the other things that's going on and people talking crazy and that and crazy and all that. No, no, no. You got to keep your focus on God because truth of the matter is God's going to get us out of this. It don't matter if you were 40 million or 40 dollars. All of us right now are in the same situation. Can't nobody go outside. Everybody got to have a mask on. It ain't about no money no more. It doesn't matter. Everybody's in the same thing. COVID don't know rich people and COVID don't know poor people. COVID just know people. And you get what I'm saying? So it, it don't have nothing to do with that. You have to focus on God right now. You have to keep your focus on God. Because he's the one that's going to get us out of this mess. He's the one going to get out of this situation. He's the one that's going to get you out of that. He's the one that's going to over help you overcome each uh, all of the circumstances, everything that's going to keep your mind on God. Number two, number two is we must trust him. Yeah, we got to trust God. We got to trust God during this situation. We got to trust him when all this stuff is going crazy. We got to trust it. Don't you be buckled down at home because you hear what they said on CNN and MSNBC. I know you can be concerned, but you got to trust God to go outside. You got to trust God to say, hey, I'm not going to allow this to take away my life. Come on, guys. We at the point now that we have families don't even want to talk to each other. Families scared to talk to each other. Families scared to look at each other. Families scared to do this. They are taking, I'm not going, I, you know, conspiracy theorists, not like that. But I want you to understand something here. Understand something here. In a world of 2020 where everybody is so socially disconnected that we are on our kids are on phones and all this other stuff they don't even talk to nobody now you're telling me i got to be socially disconnected from people so the only thing now i can really focus on is technology let me tell y'all something right now while we sitting at home don't want to can't go nowhere can't go here can't go there the technology stock is going through the roof them juggles are making billions billions you hear me them guys who make money off of us not talking to people, only talking to our computers and our phones, 
are making billions right now. So we have to trust God to say, hey, I'm not going to be, you didn't make me to be talking to no phone for, for, for the next six years. Nah, you're going to get me out of this so I can go and talk to your people. I could go and shake your, shake a brother or sister hand. I can go and look somebody in the face and tell them, Jesus love you. I can go, come on now. We have to trust God to know that we're going to go back to doing the things God's way. Not man's way, God's way. We got to trust him. This is the time that you got to trust God. You still got to trust God what you're giving. This ain't a time to be stuck at home. Say, I ain't paying no tithes. I ain't paying no offering. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Who. And then when God bring us out now, no, 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 no. God said, no, no, you have to be able to trust me in the good times. And you have to be able to trust me in the bad times. Come on now. So all of my married folk out there are the people are just in relationship. The measure of your relationship is not me is, it is not based on the honeymoon. Just because you have a good honeymoon don't mean that your marriage is going to be great. The, 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 the strength of your marriage or the strength of your relationship is based on how you are acting when it don't look good. How is acting when it look like you're heading for a divorce court? You guys might not be t uh, uh, talking to each other, but are you still entrusting in each other? Come on now. Same thing about God. You can ask people who've been married 40, 50. They didn't get that long. They weren't married 40, 50, 60 years because every day was good. They was married that long because they refused to let bad days stop them from doing what they vows told them they must do. Now, let's go back. Same thing. Your, uh, your blessings in God is not predicated on when everything looked good. Your blessings in God is predicated on in the middle of a pandemic. Are you still sowing into God? God said, are you still sowing into me? Are you still doing what you're supposed to do? I'm going to bring you out of this. But your question is, will you come out on the mountain or will you come out in the valley? That's that's your choice. But see, that's how God looking at and God looking at us to trust him in the middle of this. You got to trust him in the middle of this. And that's where your peace going to come from. Trust in God. Bank accounts don't matter right now. Well, you know, my bank account full of money. What you buying? Amazon ain't shipping too much stuff. Well, let me stop. Amazon shipping in the middle of the day. But it ain't coming as quick as you want it to come. Come on now. So we have to trust him. We, we, we have to still trust in God. Number three, my last one, I'm going to let you go. Is you have to meditate on his word. He told Joshua, you, you, you keep this book of the law in your heart. Meditate on it day and night and then you will have good success. That's what, that's what he told Joshua. He said, Joshua, you got to keep my word in your heart. And you better meditate on it day and night. And then I, you will have great success. So in order to have peace, we have to keep the word of God meditated in our heart, man. If the only scripture you know is Psalms 23, baby, you sing, pray that scripture every day. If that's the only scripture you know, read it every morning and every night. Quote it. But that pastor, that's the only script. That's you, you, God never said you had to have a whole bunch of scripture. Psalms 23 is all that you need. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not walk. <laughs> I'm getting happy out here. I got to calm down. You get what I'm saying? But you have, to, you have to meditate on his word day and night. You got to meditate on it. Go with me to Isaiah, Isaiah 26 and 3. My last scripture, I'm going to let you go. It says this, it says this. You will keep him in perfect peace who mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. He, he, will, he, he says right here, you will keep them in perfect peace who mind stays on you. Why? Because they trusted you. You can't keep your mind on God if you ain't trusting in him. You can't keep your mind on God if you ain't believing in him. You can't keep your mind on God if you ain't putting your whole life in his hands. In the middle of this pandemic, God is going to give you peace that surpasses the all understanding. People ain't going to understand how you're so peaceful in this. People ain't going to understand how you ain't freaking out, how you ain't going crazy, how you crossing your legs on your front porch in your rocker chair, drinking some lemonade, saying God's going to get you. Come on now. It's one of the fruits of the Spirit is to have peace. So we must have that peace of God. And I speak the peace of God over your life right now. 
I speak the peace of God over the ones that are dealing with the loss of loved ones right now. I speak the peace of God over the ones who have got who have gotten bad health reports. I speak the peace of God over you, believing that God is a comforter. Maybe he has called your loved ones home to be with him, but know that he's a comforter. Maybe you have gotten a bad report from the doctor, but understand that he's a healer. And let that be your peace. So in closing, remember, keep your focus on God. Remember to trust him. Remember to meditate on his word day and night. And you will have peace that surpasses all understanding. Father, I pray right now for all of the ones who hear this message and the ones who they're going to share it to. We speak the peace of God over their life, over their family. No matter what this look like, you're going to bring us out. We're going to come out with more than what we went in with. That is our word. That is our confession. Speak that over your life right now. If you right at home, you speak that. You say that every day. I'm coming out of this with more than what I went in with. We put that in the atmosphere. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Being looking in the mail, we got something special coming to all of the members. All right? Be looking in the mail for something. From Pastor Potts, the elders and Brother God Church. All right. God bless you. I love you.